Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you all how I achieved the wash and go that you all saw in my thumbnail and i am just gonna start by using this camille rose honey i am using this as my leave-in and honestly you guys this is probably the star product of the show completely this product allows my hair to get a lot of moisture but it also allows my hair to be shiny and yeah and very very soft so also you want to make sure that you split those sections up to ensure that you are getting each strand because each strand needs to be cared for and it also needs to be moisturized and because this product is so special for this style i am going to use my demon brush to detangle just to make sure that i am getting that product evenly coated on my hair and once i get that in I am only going to use a little bit of the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer Smoothie. I have found that using a little bit of this product actually assists with this wash and go, but too much sometimes can't allow a little bit of flaking. So you only want to use a little bit so that you're not putting excessive products on your hair. Now I do have low porosity hair, so I do have to put in a little bit more extra work as it pertains to getting these products distributed because if I don't, it will only sit up there. Now I am going in with my Wild Growth Hair Oil. I do use this to seal in the moisture and I am focusing on my ends a lot because of course they're the oldest parts of our hair and they tend to get drier first. So now you want to go ahead and split that section up. With 4C hair, you just have to use smaller sections and begin applying the gel to the root to reduce the frizz that can be so annoying at the roots of your hair. Now I use the smoothing method, but I also shingle a few pieces throughout my head as well. My hair is a little bit too thick and too dense to do the shingling method all over my head. So as you all will see, I do tend to do the smoothing method a lot for this for the pieces that I will be smoothing out. But I do make sure to separate because my curls will clump together, but I like for them to be a little bit separated so I don't have to do that when the hair dries and cause more frizz. But do not be afraid to add gel. The Camille Rose Honey allows for your hair to not get crunchy and flaky, so you're safe to use as much gel as you want to make sure that it's not as frizzy. And I'm just gonna let this video play for you guys. I pretty much repeat those steps throughout my head and as I said before, I will link those products in the description box below. However, I also want to mention that detangling your hair for wash and goes are so important. If you haven't done wash and goes or you're not too familiar with doing wash and goes, the detangling process is so, so, so important. You do want to make sure that you get all of the tangles out. I have always had tangly hair, I mean, I think most of you all probably know this by now, but if you don't, I am very tender headed. So yeah, that has always been a stressor for me. Even when I was a child, I hated getting my hair done, which is like totally ironic being that I do hair videos, but I, I hate detangling my hair because it hurts sometimes. But yeah, I have always had tangly hair. Twenty brought me many realizations. Twenty taught me never be complacent. I've got twenty years and I'm still changing. I've lived twenty lives and needed saving. 
So I got all these layers stacking up like Tetris. Okay, you guys, this clip is just so satisfying for me. Oh my God, the smoothness of when that brush goes through that hair and those tangles are free. Oh my God, I just find this so satisfying. From the go, I was on my own. Had to find a home up in my cell. Plan to see then grow. Where I stood, cause I ain't have a shelf. And it's hard to understand when you don't know my rules. Yeah, it's hard to understand when you don't know the truth. Cause we all got some that we don't like to mention. And the things that keep me up, they made me who I am, yeah. So I can never sit back, say that I regret it. Once all of my curls are defined, I do like to give my hair a bit of a shake. It just helps with gathering the curls together seeing how they lay and how they want to lay and of course I am going with a side part for this hairstyle today and I'm a stickler for parts you guys so I will go back and make sure that bad boy is crisp because I just I just I just need it to be crisp and I am going to give myself a few swoops on the side just to add a little pizzazz to the hairstyle I will be letting my hair air dry, but I have found that when you have shorter hair and you want your hair to display the part, you have to clip it away because if you don't, the part will end up just being covered up by your roots and your curly hair. So you pretty much, while your hair is wet, you have to train it to go in the direction that you want it to go. And that's why I clip my hair away from the part because of course I want the part to be seen. And here's what my curls look like in the bed. They're super moisturized, super juicy. And if you all didn't know, I actually recently just straightened my hair and honey, no heat damage here. These are all my curls, no heat damage. And I'm so proud about that. But also to take these edges a step further, you do, do want to go ahead and tie them down. So for my nighttime routine, I just used this scarf to tie my hair up and of course I took the black one off but your hair is going to be mashed like this and you're going to look crazy. But all you have to do is just lift those curls up and honey, the definition is still there, the moisture is still there and your hairstyle is still a hairstyle so don't stress about it. This is just what works for me. I have tried other methods as in doing ponytails and stuff but my hair is a little bit still too short for that. and. You all will see my curls are still going to be there once I finish lifting them up. So of course my hair wanted to hold all the water at the roots so I'm just going to go in with light cool air and get those roots dry so I don't have to worry about my hair shrinking up anymore throughout the day. Once your hair is completely dry, you want to lift and fluff in an upward direction. 
that is how you get the most volume now i am going to stretch my hair in the front a little bit so that i can frame it to my face a little bit better and to try to achieve the style that i had envisioned for myself so you will see me going in and just holding my hair and make make sure that you all know to not mess with the curls at the end you want to hold the section of hair by the end so you don't mess up the curls at the end and then stretch the roots out Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say And to display my part a little bit better, I am going to pin the hair away from the part on both sides so that my part can be shown and I can get the style that I envisioned in my head. And after all the fluffing and stretching, you guys, the curls are still there. But I do need to go in and do my edges because when you're on Zoom, I mean, your hair kind of does stand out. And I just want my edges to be sleek. Of course, you have to go to a little extra mile sometimes when your hair is short. So I need my edges to be sleek today. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do, so I smile and I wave. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I have had 4C hair, I mean, I guess all my life technically, but I have always found it hard to find a wash and go combination in terms of products that don't flake my hair, that don't, doesn't dry my hair out. And you guys, this is the perfect combination. And as you guys can see, my hair is super defined. It looks moisturized, it looks shiny. It just looks overall healthy. And I'm so proud that I found these products. And of course, let's throw these glasses on because I can't see really and yeah i will see you all in my next video see ya you never